Every year in Madden, Dollar is a good defense. In this video, we're going to be talking about why that is the case. It's going to be a little bit of a defensive breakdown here. And just want to kind of highlight really the why behind the value of Dollar and why learning Dollar is going to help you no matter what year of Madden that you are in. Now, if you want to learn do do Dollar, <laughs> uh, that's a tongue twister. Uh, if you want to learn Dollar, I have a full Dollar 3-2 uh, defensive ebook and it's completely revamped there's multiple different variations of it multiple different styles of dollar especially this year there's a lot of different ways that that you can uh, run dollar with a lot of success and if you want to get access to that that's going to be over on my school community page i'll put a link to that in the description down below that's where you can get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks both for madden and for ncaa and they all update. So $10 gets you access to literally everything over there for both games. So if you want to sign up for that, I'll put a link down in the description below. So you might ask, as I would, why is dollar good? And why would I bother uh, learning it? Why is dollar good every single year? Is it a glitch formation? And I would argue that it's not. And the reason why is because dollar does something better than almost every defense in Madden, and it's not necessarily Blitz. Now, while Blitzing is the, uh, I think, one of the centerpieces or one of the keys to defense, really the reason why Dollar is so effective every single year is because of its ability to be able to disguise what you're doing. It gives you the most amount of options from both a coverage and Blitzing perspective, while also covering the most amount of field possible due to the, just the way the formation is laid out, Duller is always going to be effective because from an alignment perspective, it's symmetrical and it's not susceptible really to anything other than an inside zone, for example. So if you pinch your defensive line, all of a sudden this defense becomes really decent against stopping the run because it's essentially, if you really just take Dollar for what it is, is basically 3-4 odd. It's basically 3-4 odd. It's just a little bit different personnel, of course, and the defense is just structured a little bit differently. This is why uh, Dollar is, is really good every single year because it's not just that it's a dime or dollar package. If you just look at the layout of the formation, you know, it's not too hard to see that this is basically 3-4 odd, it, just in terms of kind of practically how the formation is going to work. It's, it's essentially 3-4 odds. So you can see here, I can kind of create different types of fronts that are super effective for defending the run. And they also allow me to create different methods for blitzing. There's a lot of different ways to blitz that a dollar. There's not just one way to do it. And uh, I think that's there's a lot of value in that. We can, we can send a gap pressure. We can send edge pressure. We can send what I've called uh, in previous years, uh, crossfire pressure. Like dollar is not just DB fire two every single year. If you think about it, dollar is one year it's DB fire two. The next year it's spinner. The next year it's uh, free safety zone blitz. The next year it's cross three fires. So my point is just to say that it has the most amount of options and that is truly why dollar is so good because it has the most amount of options while maintaining the most amount of integrity in terms of its ability to constrain the most amount of space possible. And then it also is really effective for defending the pass, which we know in Madden that the, you know, passing is obviously king. So that is one of some of the reasons why dollar is so effective. Now on offense, I'm rocking trips tied in. I'm actually kind of messing around with the new England trips. The main reason why is for this play, uh, PA slot corner and the fact that I can't get <laughs> this play in mutt right now because the playbook is not is not available. So we run a lot of kind of freestyling uh, a little bit out of this out of this PA slot corner type of play and uh, running a lot of really what I'm trying to mess around with is kind of horizontal spacing concepts. If you want the full trip side in ebook, that is also going to be in my school on my school page. The link to that is going to be in the description below. I've been really happy with school. Uh, school.com. I think it's a great platform. Um, it's it's really user friendly. I've gotten a lot of good feedback about that. 
And I just think it's cool because it's going to have everything in one place. You're going to be able to basically have kind of like Discord, Patreon, YouTube, all in one little platform. So if you want to get access to that, again, links in the description. And that's where all of my uh, NCAA type stuff is is going to be is going to be hosted at. So right there, go to uh, verticals. Just trying to hit the hit the tight end corner. Red zone's kind of hard. Uh, I think red zone is red zone's really honestly. It's just a it's it's just kind of an awkward uh, position on the field. We're gonna try to go to the C route. I think the C route is a super underrated red zone route, as you see right there, because of its capability to be able to kind of pull the cloud flat inside, and then there's this little window that you can hit it. And then if they're not playing cover two on you, if they're playing like cover three or cover four, I find that the deep zones don't really do a good job against C routes. So back to defense and kind of talking through, you know, what makes a good, what, what makes a defense good. So there's a couple of things, a couple of principles that I think are transferable year over year. So the first thing that you have to have, and I don't care what defense you're running, every single defense I teach has this, and I will never, ever, ever post a defense that does not have this. It has to have a threat of pressure. If the defense does not have a threat of pressure, it is not a, it really cannot be ran at, at the highest level. It cannot really be a true comp Madden defense. That is a super important point, and I'm going to say it again. If the defense does not have a significant threat of pressure, that is a three, four, five, or six-man pressure, and ideally you would want a method for three, four, five, six, maybe even seven-man pressures. If your formation or your defense that you are running does not have the threat of a blitz, it is not an effective formation. That is so important, and I see so many people, uh, I see so many people get this wrong. You know, I'll, I'll play people, and there's literally no blitz threat. And it's not that their formation itself doesn't even have a blitz threat. It's that they're not giving you any – there's no way they can blitz from the look they're giving you, right? So, like, right here, I could send A-gap pressure. I could send double-edge pressure. I could send – you know what I mean? I have a couple different methods that I can send pressure from. And there's other looks of this that I can get into that we could get into with the double safety defense where we could send pressure from the safeties. But the point is – if they are sending five receivers on a route, I have the ability to really easily craft a pressure setup. That is so important. And it really cannot be overstated how, how significant this is. And a lot of people overlook this. Uh, you have to have the, the threat of pressure. The second thing that I think is, is super important when we talk about building a effective effective defense I find it very, very important to have a lot of different ways in which we can cover things. So the best, well, actually, let me, let me save that for a future point. The next thing that is kind of like a no brainer, like you kind of have to have this, you have to have the ability to I'm trying to think how to word it. You have to have the ability to make everything look the same. So your coverage setup needs to look the same as your pressure setup. At the very base level, I find that to be very, very important. So your coverage setup, really you want that to look like your pressure setup. Very important. So you want the majority of your defenses to look the same. Now, there are some situations where you might make a very specific adjustment to stop something that it might be a giveaway. But in general, you don't want to have a lot of tells in your defense, you want your defense to largely look exactly the same uh, every single time. Every single time, as you're seeing, I'm given this, this kind of standard look, but I can do a lot from that look, which is a very important point. It's not just that we are giving, it's not just that the defense has to look the same every time, but we have to be able to change the post-snap picture. So in, in, in a short sentence, we wanna keep the pre-snap picture the same and change the post-snap picture to our opponent. This is where, in my opinion, you are gonna find kind of the ultimate uh, disguise. If you are able to do this well, your defense will, uh, it will be better for it. You wanna have 
Um, because it's the only th- it, it, there's two advantages the defense has over the offense. The first advantage is you can wait until the offense comes out in their play to call your play. So you should always do that. Because as I see pistol doubles, I'm imagining the formation in my head, and I'm already presetting the defense that I want to run against the formation, which is something like what you see on your screen right here, right? It's a good defense for pistol doubles, but I knew how to set that up because in my head, I envisioned the formation he was calling when he came out. I was already very quickly setting up my adjustments. So you really want, that's like a super underrated tip. You want to wait until your opponent comes out in a formation uh, for you to call whatever it is that you want to call defensively. Okay. Even if you're going to call the same defense, this allows you a significant advantage because you're coming out and you know, okay, he's in this. I have 12 seconds. I can wait. I can think for a second and I can plan what is the defense that I'm going to be running. So like right here, for example, I know he wants to run this. I really like this uh, coverage in this kind of style of defense. I got that slot corner blitzing to kind of contain the run. See what I'm saying? Uh, so that's really, really important. The second thing that I do think is super, super important to defense, and one of the only advantages, in my opinion, that the defense has in Madden is unpredictability. The ability to not be predictable in your coverage is so important. It really is. I cannot stress this enough. You need to be unpredictable in your coverage. If you are not unpredictable, it is way too easy for the offense because the way Madden is made, it has nothing to do with um, whether it's realistic or not. The truth is if the offense knows what the defense is doing and they are a semi-competent man player, they will win every single time. So it is very important that on defense you – kind of be a little unpredictable in terms of what you do. All right, here we go. So now back to offense, kind of thinking through here. And I'll actually talk about this while I'm playing this guy's defense and kind of explain what I'm seeing. So I'm going to come out and trip side in every single play. Now, he is in this dime normal. This is what I was kind of talking about before. He literally has no threat of pressure. Who can blitz here? He only has four men pass rush that he can do so because of that there's I'm not worried about pressure so I will always and I'll I'll call time out second and kind of explain this I will literally always call five out so you see here again he's in he's in dime I'm always going to call five out because of how he's calling his defense and it looks like he's going to go ahead and is he going to concede or he's going to take his sweet time he's going to go get a drink of water but it's so important because If you have no blitz threat, that means that I have every single route on the field available to me. And again, a defense's main objective is obviously to hold the opponent to fewer points, try to hold them to field goals, get steps in the red zone, get turnovers. All those things are good good practices, right? But really the main thing that defense does is they constrain as much space as possible. So now... You see how he pressed? Even just by that simple act of pressing, he gave he gives himself a blitz threat. So where's the main blitz threat? I know in dime it's going to come off the left side. So I'm going to set up a quick beating route combination to that side. And then we'll have kind of this backside stuff. Now my first read on this is I'm looking at that corner. If that corner bails, then I'm going to throw this little hitch or this little, uh, not hitch, but uh, out route because he's in cover three. So what does that force you to do? I know that this is going to force him into a cover two coverage. So in this case here, I'm actually going to call a play that is really, really good for cover two. And there's some methods in which we can attack it, maybe something like this on the back end. And again, I'm not worried about pressure because he hasn't blitzed me yet. So the same thing I'm kind of reading out there. See how he goes cover two here? He actually, when I think cover three, cloud with the hard flat. But notice how – see what I'm saying? Notice how – I caused him to have to play something, and then I took advantage of where he is going to be vulnerable. That, in a nutshell, is Madden. And now he's kind of showing some man-to-man. See how he's not making the defense look the same? It's kind of a dead giveaway every single time what he's doing. And so then I can just put routes on the field that are going to manipulate that. This is why it is so important that your defense, by and large, with very little exception, is giving the same pre-snap picture. 
Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. A little breakdown on defense. Let me know what you thought. And let me know what you think of the defense. If you want to get the ebooks, links are in the description below.